Okay, this is blog 56. The last two months of 2019 and in the first month of 2020, in January, I was asked to do three sessions on what was titled Spiritual Warfare. It's not a term I use. I used to, but not anymore if I can help it. The term I would prefer is Dominion. Because when you have Dominion or when you move in progressive dominion, then the spiritual warfare, whether it be internal or external, decreases. Because where you have dominion, you have dominion and you're established. But I was asked to do this and I jotted a few headings down and uh, did the, the three sessions with the people who had been handpicked to be at these sessions. And I came up with eight statements, and I'm going to give these eight statements. So now they'll go out on the vlog and they're open to everybody, not just a few people. And the first statement was this, you've got to know your enemy. I've mentioned this before in other vlogs, but this was the first statement, know your enemy. Because Satan is a master at misinformation misdirection and intimidation you must know your enemy second one was you got to know your allies you need to know who your allies are especially if you're any in any form of leadership in the body of christ second the third one was you got to know your friends very important very important Number four, you need to know your family. Who's in your family? Not who's in your church. You may have a church, you may be a leader of a church or a leader of a house group or a leader of a ministry or an organization, but not everybody who's in there is your ally or your friend or your family. To know your family, you need to know who in your sphere has the same DNA as you. Not biological DNA, <clears throat> but your spiritual DNA. Spiritual DNA is essential because when the pressure's on, those who haven't got it will crack, will stumble, will fall, will accuse you, will point the finger at you, will walk away from you because they haven't got your DNA. There's no spiritual connecting force. Number five is you got to know who you are. The more you know who you are in him, and the more you know who he is in you, the greater will be the dominion in your life. Number six, you've got to know your call. You've got to know your call. If you don't know your call, then you're going to wander into all sorts of various things, trying this, trying that, trying the other, not being successful, getting irritated, getting frustrated, you need to know your call, your personal call. Your personal call is unique to you. Nobody else has got it. It's yours. And number seven, you've got to know your sphere, where you are authorised to function. Because where you're authorised to function, you will be successful. You will overcome and you will have dominion. I'm not saying you're going to have an easy life because you won't but you will overcome because you are in your sphere, you know your call, you know your authorization. And number eight was, you need to know your weapons, not anybody else's weapons, your own personal weapons. You need to know. To know means to be intimate with. To know means to be intimate with. You need to be intimate with your weapons of your warfare. Because the devil's a liar, he comes to steal, he comes to kill, he comes to destroy. He is the accuser of the brethren. Any accusations come against you through other believers, it's from him. Because Jesus does not accuse. The Holy Spirit does not accuse. The Father does not accuse. But God's people accuse. And they open their mouths and let the enemy out. So you need to know. 
who your family is, who your friends are, who your allies are, what your call is, what your sphere is, what your weapons are, and who the enemy is. And as you progressively move in these revelations, dominion will come into your life and you will be established and peace will reign. So remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior.